If you believe that you can DCA your way to the moon, boy, I've got something for you today. Hey guys, this is Andre from Cryptomaton and in this video, I'm going to share with you the logic and process that I've had to go through in order to automate a manual DCA strategy. If you don't know what DCA means, DCA or dollar cost averaging refers to a trading strategy that's supposed to minimize the risk associated with trading volatile assets by placing recurrent buys over a period of time. If you haven't been following this channel along, this is a great time to do so, so make sure to hit that like, that subscribe button and that notification bell. Now let me share this story with you, let's jump right into it guys. Alright, so the first step was to put our desired DCA configuration into a file that which the bot can run. Luckily, I could salvage quite a bit of code from this, so it was relatively easy to edit the config file uh, from a volatility bot into a DCA bot. So what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of a few values that are no, no longer needed. For example, we don't need the stop loss, uh, the take profit, uh, enable TSL, TTP and TSL. Those are values that are not going to be used because our bot won't be selling, it will just accumulate cryptocurrency over time. The next step was to actually take this configurable YAML file and make it so that our bot can trade based on our parameters to actually write the logic into the code. Luckily, my previous projects have saved me quite a bit of time, so I was able to rework my existing algorithm in order to turn it into a DCA bot. One of the things that I wanted to add on top was a logger so that we can see everything that happens with the algorithm at all time. When it buys, um, also if it throws an error or anything like that, everything will be stored in a local file called log.log. Fast forward a few hours later and I had replaced all of the print statements with log statements in our algorithm so that everything will be logged onto the file. One really important aspect of DCA bots in my opinion is the ability to report on the cumulative DCA strategy and DCA buys historically. So here I'm creating a metrics.py file that is able to take all of the DCAs for any given coin and then do the average out of those trades individually which means that we can do a few cool things. So I started building this and then I wanted to make it a little bit more visual. So I've also decided to include a plotting library that will save images locally as everything gets stored and measured in time. We're not gonna do any super sophisticated plotting. So the basics of the matplot library should be able to cover us. Uh, so I'm just doing a quick search to just quickly get reaccustomed with the syntax and to be able to pull that down into our code. So just a reminder, we need to be able to plot the history, the DCA history of each of our coins at every point that the coin was bought so that in time we can see whether we're following the market or whether we're actually buying at a completely random price as well as seeing what the average price was. So I have my function plot DCA history where for each coin in data, we're gonna do plt.plot data and then in square brackets coin which means that we're going to be able to access the coin under the data dictionary that we will be feeding into this function from our main function also don't worry if a lot of this doesn't really make sense because this is just a test bench here the code will be available on github and as well as in the description below so just more of a curiosity than anything else okay so now we should be ready for our first test as you can see, all of the orders, all of the test orders are being shown correctly at their individual bot prices, which means that the plotting works for now. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the plots aren't actually showing inside of the script because that will stop the script from running repeatedly. So we want this to run 24 seven and instead we want to save these as local files. So you can see the plt.savefig will actually enable us to save all of these as local PNG images with their own name. So for example, the Bitcoin report will be called BTC, the Polkadot report will be called DOT and so on. And you can choose which coins you want to DCA. So your, the name of your files will automatically match the coins that you choose. So the last thing I had to do was create a git ignore file. For those of you that don't know, gitignore is a file that GitHub and other Git related services will know in order to ignore the files that you're about to upload or commit. 
when you commit something on one of these platforms you will usually be able to add or to tell the uh, platform that you're going to add everything onto it via git so a git ignore file ensures that all the files that shouldn't be uploaded are not being uploaded so i've taken this template which pretty much includes everything that python tend to throw around like PyCache and other Python related files and I'm also adding a few sensitive files that shouldn't be added onto the repository such as config.yml and auth.yml. It's really important that we don't commit these files because these are your configuration files config.yml will include your email address and password if you want the algorithm to send you email notifications every time it DCAs and auth.yml will contain your API keys for Binance. So really important that these are not being pushed onto the repository and we're excluding them via gitignore. Okay, so everything now should hopefully be ready for some testing. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to pretend that I'm DCAing every week but just to see that the algorithm actually works, it's operating every 7 seconds. So you can see that it's already created the images for the DCA coins that I've chosen and I've added a nice little touch on the top of every chart to include the average. So every time it places a new trade, this average will change. So let's say you end up using this for a few months and you will see exactly what your average is. Are you above the market? Are you below the market? Is the DCA strategy actually working out for you the way you intended? The more you keep it, the more data you will collect and the more you'll end up knowing whether this is a good strategy for you to use or not. The algorithm comes with a test mode, so I've left this test mode as part of the actual algorithm, so you can play around with it and, you know, have fun, see if it works, um, or even take it to live mode. Of course, there is some risk involved to it, so I would at least recommend running it in test mode first before you moving on to the live mode with this algorithm. And just like that, we have a new working DCA bot. Let me just recap quickly some of the main features that it has, as well as some of the things that I wished other bots or other tools on the big exchanges have. It allows you to select the rate at which you will be DCAing, so whether it's every three days or every week or every month, you can choose that yourself. You can set any number of coins to DCA as long as they're supported by the Binance exchange. And finally, it has the reporting that I wished more exchanges have. It tells me the average price at which I'm DCAing with every trade as well as it gives me a chart to look at to see how my DCA strategy is performing against the market. If you enjoyed this video hit that like button, that subscribe and that notification bell. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support it even more, there's a link down below that will give you premium access to my Discord membership. It's a subscription so every little bit helps and it makes me want to dedicate more time to writing and open sourcing projects like this one. If you feel like talking algo trading, there's a Discord group down below that will blow your mind. No, really, there's, there's a lot of guys that are super passionate about algo trading, so, you know, you might find some really good ideas there, uh, so jump onto the Discord. Alright guys, Cryptomaton, out! We have to stop meeting like this. It's getting a bit... Uh suspicious but seeing as you're still watching this video which i think is amazing of you by the way i'm working on this cryptocurrency project it's a trading algorithm uh, but it's a whole platform it comes with a user interface and all the bells and whistles and i'm planning to release it sometime next year probably q1 we're gonna have a closed beta soon uh, so make sure to check the link down below in the description um, and it's supposed to be a competitor for three commas obviously you won't have nearly as many features as three commas right now well i mean upon release but in time it will it definitely will um, so yeah check that out in between your christmas break uh, and your turkey <laughs> bye